Professor David Olasoga is the author of Black and British and he contributed to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's bombshell Netflix series which contained damaging claims about the royal family. David appeared at the end of episode 2 to revisit the debate around Brexit. He said on the Netflix program the fairy tale of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex was embedding itself in a nation that is having a pretty toxic debate about the European Union. The historian also wrote a piece in The Guardian earlier this year throwing his support behind Harry and Meghan. He penned tabloid rule is rule by intimidation. It has long rested on the presumption that no one, not even the royals, would dare to stand up to the papers. Camilla confronted over title at highly charged coronation dinner The ongoing barrage of fury against the Sussexes is motivated therefore by more than the usual strategy of selling newspapers by monetizing hate. It also reflects a creeping realization that, for all their toxic and unwarranted power, the tabloids are ultimately incapable of destroying this couple. So BBC viewers were shocked to hear David talking about King Charles and the monarchy as part of its rolling coronation coverage on Saturday. Taking to Twitter, Tracy Hughes fumed. Why is the at BBC giving so much airtime to at David Olasoga who had an opinion on that ghastly Netflix program with Ginge and Winge and clearly finds the monarchy distasteful hashtag King's Coronation 2023. Sick, Joan Collins' appearance leaves GMP viewers incredibly distracted don't miss. ITV slammed for ruining Pledge of Allegiance after subtitles blunder, reaction, David Beckham accused of begging for knighthood in King Charles Post, update, New York's High Society celebrate coronation at special 5 a.m. screening, latest, Tris Morris added, why has the BBC got David Olasoga commenting on the hashtag coronation, was he not the one contributing to that duo's Netflix docu-series calling the Commonwealth Empire too? Zero? Hypocrite. Sick, Christopher Herbert claimed, David Olasoga calls the royal family out for being racist on the Meghan Markle Netflix show. While the BBC have the audacity to have him guest star in their coronation as a guest. Talk about backstabbing the viewer at Cone. Sick, Dr. Rocky Bason remarked. I didn't think David Olasoga could stoop much lower after his incredibly suspect commentary on the Harry and Meghan Netflix docu-series. But his coronation commentary on the BBC, pitiful. No understanding of the monarchy's value to social cohesion and international relations. However, Patrick Nelson argued, David, got it right made valid points about the actualities of the coronation whilst maintaining a historical and political insight into both the past and current situation. Absolutely spot on. Sick, Good Morning Britain presenter Adil Ray added, how utterly brilliant is at David Olasoga. Yes, I'm biased, he's a friend. But his thoughts on the day's events have been so considered, insightful and delivered with real warm. Sick, the celebrations will continue on Sunday with the coronation concert taking place at Windsor Castle in the evening. King Charles' coronation can now be streamed on BBC iPlayer.